Hi, my name is Ben Jones, and I'm a subject matter expert here at Wiley Efficient Learning. And I want to help you get through the CFA exam. And the thing is, is that I want to give you a little tips and tricks, because there's nothing that brings me more pleasure than making sure that somebody is successful in trying to get through this exam. Now, one of the things that I really love is accounting. I know it sounds crazy, but we're going to do a statement of cash flows. We've got a great question on that, and understanding where individual items go in different categories on the statement of cash flow is very important. Whether it goes in operations or investing or financing, that's going to be the key. So why don't we go ahead and pull up a question and take a look. First of all, this question is surrounded by U.S. GAAP. You've got to know that if we're using U.S. GAAP versus IFRS, then it's going to be different, all right? So another aspect that you really need to focus in on. We're going to look at the question stem. It says, which of the following statements is correct? Is it $145,000 negative, 68 negative, or 12,000 positive? So this is going to be something that you probably will see on the exam. They give you a list of items, they tell you all these different things, and they're trying to get you confused as to whether it goes into operations, investing, or financing. So let's go through each one. First of all, we need to know that investing is all about putting our money into something for the long term, such as a fixed asset. Sometimes we talk about long-term investments. Now, at the end of the day, if it's not dealing with fixed ass assets that give us some value in the future, then it's not going to be part of CFI. Proceeds from the sale of equipment, right? We can buy equipment and we can sell equipment. And that's going to show us the cash flows from investing. So that $32,000 right here, that guy, let's make sure we get it correct, that $32,000 is going to be part of CFI. All right, now those are proceeds. That means that's coming in, right? It's not going out. What about the loss on the equipment sale? Now, if I do this right, that's going to be cash flow from operations. Now, we've seen that when we've done other questions, that it's in our net income, and we have to adjust it out when we use that indirect method. What about dividends paid? Dividends paid are going to be part of that cash flow from financing. All right, so we're not going to have that one on there. We're not going to have the loss on equipment. What about the purchase of office uh, premises? Well, that's a long-term investment and something that's going to give us value as we go forward. So that 100000 if I can circle this thing right, is going to be money that's going to be going out. So if that's out and the first one is in, the net of those two items is going to be 68000 that's going out. Okay, So that's going to be a negative number, a negative 68000 What about common stock repurchases? Hopefully, at the end of the day, you're thinking, well, that's really cash flow from financing. That's how we finance uh, our overall capital structure. What about dividends received, interest received, suppliers, cash collections, and any cash balances? Now, when I take all of those, I go all the way down here to cash collections. Those are all CFO. Now, I'm sure some of you are sitting there going, I don't get that. I thought it was something different. Well, we're going to have to dig a little bit deeper in that one if we're going to figure out what's actually happening. But for now, the answer is B, right? Right down here. And it's the negative 68,000 because it's the combination of the 32,000 you received and the $100,000 out for items that you've invested in for long term. All right? So if you want to learn a little bit more, come to efficientlearning.com CFA, and we'll go into this question just a little bit deeper.